Here's a sign ahead. 50 miles to Rossum City. Population, 2 million. Robots. Speed limit, 200 miles per hour. Mm, there's a jet car literally flying down the road. Seems to be going faster than that. Uh-oh, a police plane has spotted it. It's zooming down, broadcasting instructions to stop. Well, I'll be. It's a robot at the controls of the car. And the police are robots, too. I see what's happened. The robot driver is a human passenger has been hurt, and he's rushing him to a hospital. The robot police are now moving the man to their plane, and there they go. Wow, what a world. Wish I had time to stay here and sightsee all over the planet, but that sound you hear is the warning bell on my time machine letting me know it's time to return to our own world and our own time. Hang on. Wasn't that something, that glimpse at the robotic world of the future? You know, something occurred to me while watching those automatons function. They look a lot like men, do much of man's work. I wonder if... Uh, excuse me a second. Give me Frank Cole in the electronics department, please. Hi, Frank. Forey Ackerman. Say, Frank, you're a sound effects man, always fooling around with electronic devices. Tell me, uh, do you suppose robots would enjoy listening to music? No, I'm not, I'm not joking. You figure that if robots are electronic creations, they'd enjoy listening to electronic music. So by utilizing a variable frequency audio generator, you think you could create a scientific symphony. It would not only send our metal friends, but would also be fascinating to human ears. We, would you be willing to work on it? You already have, and it's on the other side of the record. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> 